Hey y'all, let me tell you about my pistol sights, Proctor Why Not Sights. I designed them around the concept of offering speed and accuracy with minimal room for sight misalignment. As a shooter, I believe shooting is visual. I believe, you know, I know that we can see and process information very fast. Our interface with the pistol is our sights. Um, as you know, I kind of developed as a shooter, I wanted something different that would allow the eyes to work at the speed they can to process information a little bit faster so that we can get bullets on targets a little faster. Um, what I've found with um, you know, other sites, you know, coming up as a, a combat shooter, as a Green Beret, um, I was of the mind that everything had to have night sights. You know, all my carry guns had night sights, um, you know, just because that's what they said. You know? Well, they also said the world was flat way back in the day. Turns out that wasn't true either. So um, when I started competing and I became a USPSA Grandmaster, I absolutely saw the benefits of a black rear sight and a fiber optic front sight. The contrast between what the sights look like and the target, you know, really allowed your eyes to see and translate information much faster. Um, you know, some of the problems I had with, um, with night sights and, and problems that exist with night sights, well, if you have three things that look the same, all right, your rear sight and your front sight look the same, like in the case of a lot of night sights where you have three white dots, or, or gray dots or green dots or whatever. Uh, your eyes have to translate what those are, you know? Uh, and believe it or not, your eyes process information super fast. You know, they can see things super fast, but if they have to translate it, that slows the machine down a little bit. A black rear sight, a red fiber optic front, or a green fiber optic front translate in, translates into information for your eyes and your mind much faster. Uh, night sights generally also are, are pretty large. I know there are some, some newer night sights out there that have a blackish rear and then something kind of orange on the or orange or something on the front. A lot of times those are very large. All right, your front sight's kind of big because it's got to house that, that tritium. So what that ends up doing is covering up a lot of a target. Uh, a lot of night sights are therefore developed for a six o'clock hold. A lot of pistol sights are set up for a six o'clock hold. Uh, the way my mind works is I want to see sights on the target and press the trigger, okay? Kind of like you do with a red dot on a rifle or a scope on a rifle, wherever your aiming interface is, that's where you want the bullet to be and you're, you're conditioned to trigger it then, okay? Not holding something underneath. So believe in and, and like uh, point of aim, point of impact on pistol sights. Well, with night sights, that kind of covers up, you know, the front sight covers up a lot of a target. Um, to counter the fact that the Front sights are kind of large on night sights. A lot of them have a really wide rear notch. Now that opens up the possibility of more sight misalignment. Now, I don't know everything that there is to know about shooting, but I've spent a lot of time shooting pistols, okay? Um, I've developed some fairly decent skills with pistols and I've taught p pistol shooting to a lot of folks and seen you know, the, the issues that a lot of people have with shooting. Um, kind of going against the grain here most folks will tell you it's all about your trigger manipulation well shooters that have shot more than a thousand rounds of pistol generally don't have as many problems with trigger manipulation as they do with sight misalignment error sight misalignment is generally the thing that causes most shooters problems on small targets okay um, not trigger manipulation um, so having uh, a huge difference between the size of the front sight and the rear sight and having all that slop there opens up sight misalignment errors. So when I designed my sights, um, I wanted that speed there. So that's, that's where the Y part of the Y notch comes in. It's 170 thousandths wide, you know, tip to tip at the top of the Y and it quickly narrows down to 100 thousandths wide. The front sight is 117 thousandths wide, okay? Now, if you're looking at the math here, and everything that, that you've probably heard before about pistol sights will tell you that, you know, if you need a wide rear and a narrow front, if you got old eyes or if you need to see fast, that's not true. Um, I've worked with several folks that told me in the beginning of a course, like, oh, I got old eyes, you know, so I need to do such and such. So I let them shoot some of my sights or the same concept, and, you know, they get done. They're like, oh, wow, that was amazing. That really sped things up for me. And then I told them the specs, and they're like, uh, wow, that's not supposed to work. Well, it does, okay? So don't paint yourself into a box. You know, the front's 117 thousandths wide, and the, the bottom of the rear notch is 100 thousandths wide. That's not gonna work. Well, when you spread them out on a pistol, now there's light, okay? Now there's not a ton of light. There's, there's more space up at the top for that, the speed portion of speed and accuracy. When you need the accuracy part, the Y, where the Y tapers down, kind of 
funnels the front sight, the, especially the, the red fiber optic or green fiber optic portion of the front sight, nestles it down there nicely. Um, there's been some misconceptions out there with my sights that you know, people think you're supposed to hold the, the blade down into the narrow portion for precision shooting. That is not the way they work. Just standard, you know, classic sight alignment where the front sight's even with the top of the rear notch and an even amount of space. What the Y does is it lets you see more around the top and where it narrows, that really lets your eyes center the fiber optic in the rear notch very easy and it's easy to look down there and reference, you know, with the 100,000th wide portion of the rear notch, it's easy to reference if you're off left or right. Um, also in, you know, regards to, you know, keeping it possible to not have very much sight misalignment error, the sights are only 180 tall, the front or 180 tall uh, across the board, whether it's for Glocks, MPs, or on the uh, 1911 or 2011 sites. Another thing I did um, as I continued developing them was I have them now finished in black nitride. What that does, first of all, is corrosion resistance. Um, if you've owned pistol sights from just about any manufacturer, if they weren't black nitride, you've had rust on your pistol sights. You know, if you sweat, if you, if you carry concealed, um, or you get out in the rain, you leave, the, put your pistol up somewhere, you know, you, you end up coming back and you got rust all over your sights. With black nitride, since I've started having my sights nitrided, I have not seen a speck of rust on a pistol sight. That's a cool thing. Another really cool thing I noticed once uh, we had the first batch black nitrided was the definition of the sights. I mean, it's almost like you're looking at the sights in like high definition with the black nitride finish on there. The rear, of course, you know, is a much deeper, richer uh, finish or, or look to your eye. And then up front, you know, you've got the, the black serrated front sight with, you know, a red or green fiber optic dot in the middle. That nitride finish really kind of makes that, that dot kind of stand out in high definition as well. You know, going back to, you know, some of my experiences as a shooter. You know, people have asked before, like, for a detailed review on my sights. Well, here it is, folks. <laughs> this is in the weeds, you know, why? Um, so I got into competitive shooting. I started running, you know, black rears and red fiber optic fronts. Uh, but all my carry guns still had uh, night sights on them because, well, it's a combat gun. you got to have night sights on it, right? You know? was shooting IDPA one day with a guy that was a really good IDPA, like, you know, state and world champion kind of dude. And um, we walked back to the cars there, and, and dude goes and gets ready to go to work. He was an LE guy. He put on the same gun that he just shot the match in. And I was like, Matt, you carrying, you know, fiber optic sights for duty? And he's like, yeah. And, you know, he said, I got to thinking about it. You know, I've been shooting them competitively for a while because they, you know, they're easier and faster. And then he said he got to thinking about it. I was like, well, you know, if I'm going to have to use my pistol for duty at night, I have to have a light, you know? And if you have a light, you can either, if you have a light in your hand or on your pistol, you can see the sights, okay? And uh, that kind of opened my eyes up. I was like, huh, check that out. So I went and explored it for myself. I was like, check it out. The Glock 19 that I carried at the time immediately got a set of fiber optic sights, okay? And, um, Opened up my shooting, you know, uh, daytime, you know, what it does for you, easier to translate the information. A black rear and a red or green fiber optic front jumps out of your eyes really quickly, like, hey, that's the info I'm needing. Um, and then the front sight is not so large that it doesn't cover a lot of the targets. So if you got small targets, it's easy to, to hit them and aim at them. Um, well, easy to aim at them, hitting them's up to you, okay? <laughs> um, and then the fact that they're point of aim, point of impact, you know, there's, there's nothing to translate like you've got to hold under or do a six o'clock hold or anything. Um, so now, God, I don't know, since 07-ish, 08 or something like that, I've been running fiber optic on everything. Uh, I use my sights on all of my pistols, whether it be like this M&P 2.0 compact that I carry every day, um, the five inch M&P 2.0 that I'll either use for combat type shooting or I compete with this one quite a bit or this Triarch 2011. Um, the sights were great. If you check them out, I think you'll dig them. Once again, the whole premise or, or base behind the design or the design was speed and accuracy with less room for sight.